was the slam of earth staple for some time main eventing the pay-per-view from 2005 to 2009 plus the 2015 event now the knockouts get their first opportunity this is queen of the mountain Whoa. and steels realizes is that you got you can't win this early so you've got to get out of the way and there's no disqualification, so the involvement of Savannah Evans is entirely legal. And you saw at the beginning, all the other competitors were seemingly surrounding Steele, so she got out of Dodge, and looks like she's got a plan that she's working on. So remember the rules, the wrestlers have all started this match ineligible to win. A wrestler becomes eligible with a pinfall or submission over another wrestler. No disqualifications and falls count anywhere. The wrestler who gets pinned or submitted spends Ooh. two minutes in the penalty box. An eligible wrestler wins by hanging the belt high above the ring. Meanwhile, meeting in the middle of the ring, Deanna Perrazzo and Chelsea Green, who had chatted in the past about maybe working together in this match if they have a friendship. Potentially being in cahoots. Sears to cover, hook to the leg. Yim, able to kick out. And like any multi-person match, it's not a bad strategy, although at some point it will have to come down to fighting whoever you're teaming up with. But may as well eliminate the competition. I think it's a smart move. And listen, the first person who becomes eligible has a giant bullseye on their back because while the other competitors can't climb the ladder and hang the championship high above the ring, they then are going to go after that one person who is eligible. So you've got to be very careful about how you get your pin oh! Submission! You may not be able to climb, but you can certainly stop whoever is. Now Steele's on the apron, Perrazzo in green. This team is working right now, and Steele's into a pile of bodies, including Evans. And now with Chelsea Green looking to fly too. Meanwhile, the Virtuosa looking to make a statement here as well. And now Perrazzo off the top. And now Green. And Perrazzo seem to be in control. Green trying to become eligible. Here's the cover. Oh, yes, that's a pinfall. And steals. Ladies and gentlemen, Chelsea Green is eligible. And Tasha Steals will now spend two minutes in the penalty box. And so the first person to feel the penalty box is the Knockouts World Champion. So now Chelsea Green is eligible. Mickey James has reluctantly handed her the title. Watch this one more time. Green off the top, and then Perrazzo doesn't often go high risk, but decides to get in on the act. And that's what led to Chelsea Green getting that first pinfall on Tasha Steeles, now making her eligible. But what's that? Savannah Evans barking the way, but oh, wait! That's what the special guest enforcer is there for. Savannah Evans isn't in this matchup. There's no disqualification. What is she doing? Away she is. Already, Mickey James abusing her power. Why? Why am I not surprised? Oh, we have a penalty box now. Now using the championship. Green trying to get involved. And remember, Chelsea Green is the only eligible Ooh. member of this match right now. Me and Yim trying to score a pinfall here. This would send Green to the penalty box. Yim was trying to become eligible. Now Deanna Perrazzo protecting Chelsea Green there from getting pinned. Jordan Grace back inside the ropes. Goes after Deanna Perrazzo, about a minute 20 now left. Did you see in the back part of your screen there, there's the Knockouts World Championship. Anytime you want to climb, you have to go and get that championship or request it, and then set yourself up to climb to victory. Grace and Yim, they've worked well together as tag team partners in recent weeks on Access TV, and that's paying dividends right now. Less than a minute now until Savannah Evans and Tasha Steeles, the champion, are released from the penalty box. You can see Tasha almost looking like, can I find a way out? Is there, is there any way possible of maybe uh, circumventing the two minutes? But unfortunately, that answer is no. Listen, Steeles can use this as an opportunity to recoup a little bit. Now Yim into a cover, hook to the leg, and it's broken up by Grace. Yim is not eligible. The only person who's eligible is Chelsea Green, and she's down at the moment. She's been taken out of action. That, that teamwork you were talking about just moments ago, how quickly it crumbles when the Knockouts World title is on the line. 20 seconds to go before Steeles and Evans are released back into the Queen of the Mountain match. And see, that's what's fascinating about this. That two minutes, it can be an eternity or it can be a blip, depending on how the time in between is used by the other competitors. It could be a lifesaver or a catastrophe. 
And now the clock expires. Evans and Steels have to be released from the penalty box. I mean, Steels is released because she's in this matchup. Savannah Evans unfairly. True. Technically, they could leave Evans in the box. <laughs> they, no. Really no. But meanwhile, Tasha Steels newly focused, like you said, had a chance to catch her breath. Might be even more dangerous now in this matchup. Ooh. Out goes after Jordan Grace. Oh, double knees to the face of Grace. Now Yim, who's definitely worried Tasha Steeles, whether or not the champion will admit that. Uh-oh. Oh! That has continuously been a shot at Nikki James, delivered by Steeles, and Yim able to kick out. Steeles still ineligible. Steeles letting Nikki James know you're going to mess with me and Savannah. And what is Nikki James doing now? And Nikki James is trying to get Savannah Evans out of this. I mean, there, there is no disqualification. I think it's just smoke strategy. What? Wait, what? The special guest enforcer, Mickey James, has just barred Savannah Evans from ringside. Oh, now Green trying to send Steeles back to the penalty box. Green is already eligible. That's a smart choice. But, yeah, you can still send another competitor to the penalty box, even if you're already el eligible. Kick right to the face. Snapmare takedown. And here's Steeles on the run. Big kick. Steeles to become eligible. Yim breaks it up. Chelsea Green, the second she became eligible, she took a real beat and has not really had much of a chance to even grab a ladder. Had the championship in her hands for a moment, but still. You gotta balance a lot of spinning plates in the air, as it were, in this matchup. Get eligible. Oh! Make sure enough of your opponents oh, are bridge, down. The bridge, Yim is eligible! Ladies and gentlemen, Mia Yim is now eligible, and Chelsea Green will spend two minutes in the penalty box. Critical moment for Chelsea Green, who is still eligible, but now it's got to wait two minutes. And she had that window where she was the only one eligible, the only one who could win this matchup. But now, Nikki James sends her to the penalty box. Oh! Takes a shot at Nikki James. And that history we alluded to at the beginning of this matchup is still fresh in the mind of Chelsea Green. Meanwhile, in the center of the ring, Mia Yim is eligible and has the Knockouts World title. Trying to climb here. Can Mia Yim hang the title high above the ring? Mia Yim oh. is the first one to actually start climbing a ladder here to make some progress towards hanging that championship. That's it. Oh, Grace goes after Steeles. Perazzo slowing the ascent to Mia Yim. Perazzo looking to climb back to champ champ glory one title at a time. Ooh. Mia Yim use, using that championship as You're a right. weapon. Once again, no disqualifications in this one. Yim trying to climb, keeping Perazzo down. And now look at Steele's holy oh. cutter. Yim bouncing off of the ladder in the process. Take a look again, stepping off of Jordan Grace into the cutter off the ladder to Mia Yin. Now less than a minute now, hold on, cover inside the ring. Peraza was trying to pin steals and become eligible. And once again now on Yim and it's broken up by Grace. So again, Chelsea Green and Mia Yim, the only eligible wrestlers so far in this match. And Chelsea Green's got 30 seconds left to serve in the penalty box. She sees the camera there. She is seeing the opportunity. Meanwhile, Deanna Peraza has the armbar locked in. Submissions do count as well to make you eligible. A Fujiwara armbar applied here on Jordan Grace. Oh, oh and now it takes Steeles. A beautiful floater from the Virtuosa now with an armbar on Tasha Steeles. Could this send Steeles back to the penalty box? It absolutely could. Could this make Peraza eligible in Queen of the Mountain? And now Green has been released back into the matchup. Green and Yim are eligible. Meanwhile, Perrazzo trying to tie the arms of Tasha Steeles around the rung of that ladder. Oh, and Steeles is tapped. Deanna Perrazzo is eligible now. And Tasha Steeles will now spend two minutes in the penalty box. So now Perrazzo, Yim, and Green are eligible. And Tasha Steeles goes for another two minutes in the penalty box. But look at this, Green and Perazzo, they both can climb the ladder and hang the championship up and win this and become champion, but they're working together. It shows you the threat of Jordan Grace. Oh! 
It just goes to show the power of this team where oh. take out everybody else. Oh, and Grace took out Perrazzo. Inside oh. the ring, oh, Grace. All her hard work did not pay off there, right into Chelsea Green, who has the title. Yim was trying to throw the, the ladder at Green. Gets out of the way just in time. Oh! Stepping off that ladder, dropping Mia Yim to the mat. Cover to send Yim to the penalty box and a kick out. Remember, Yim, Green, and Perrazzo all eligible. And that's a smart move. If you can send another eligible competitor to that penalty box, it's one less person who can win. And clears the ring for you to climb. A little over a minute now for Ooh. Tasha Steeles to serve inside the penalty box. Ooh. Oh, face first into the bottom turnbuckle. There's a cover to send him to the penalty box and a kick out. Yams wants to stay in this one. Two of our eligible competitors, along with Deanna Perrazzo. Right, look at these two battling out here in the first ever Queen of the Mountain match. Less than a minute to go till the Knockouts World Champion can get back into this matchup. Hold on, cover by Yim. Oh, wait a, whoa, wait a minute. Green kicked out. Green kicked close. out in time. Green had the championship in her hands, and Yim was trying to send Green to the penalty box again. There's been enough damage, enough destruction, oh. where you're getting to that point in the matchup where somebody can indeed win. Another 20 seconds, and Tasha Steeles will be able to exit the penalty box. Green's got a time you can't waste any time, especially when someone's in that penalty box. And Chelsea Green is taking this time to gloat in front of the Impact Wrestling fans. You may be holding that championship, but you do not possess it yet. And Steels has been released from the penalty box. Steels always oh, still ineligible, remember. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. into the ladder. But look out behind you, Chelsea Green. Oh, the missile drop kick. Spine first into the steel goes Green. That was a long fall for me and him as well. Does some damage now. Pretty much everybody in this matchup is down. Watch this. Oh, the penalty box. Able to level Chelsea Green. Chance of HBIC here inside the asylum in Nashville, Tennessee. What? Oh my God, oh my God. Yeah. One goes for the offense on Perrazzo and Grace. And Perrazzo and Grace were just starting to get to their feet when Mia Yin did this, walking the ladder and the flipping oh. senton to the outside takes out both of them. Oh my God. Package pile driver on the floor. Both count floor. anywhere. Cover. Grace has got to go to the penalty box. Jordan Grace will now spend two minutes in the penalty box. Remember, Yim was already eligible, so this is critical. You can see the way the rest of the competitors were uh, treating this matchup. They understand how big of a threat Jordan Grace is. This is huge. Now, Mickey James, the special guest enforcer, trying to get Grace. As Doing her job. As calmly as possible into the penalty box. There's still a matchup to maintain, rules to maintain. And Jordan Grace now has two minutes to recover, to strategize, to do what she's got to do. But she also loses that precious opportunity to become eligible. Back inside the ring, Yim is eligible, as is Green and Peraza. Great opportunity here for Yim, and now gets the championship from Mickey James. And once again, Yim looking to climb. Oh. Tasha Steele's not going to allow it to happen. Tasha Steele's holding on to her championship. Meanwhile, Tasha Steele's is not yet eligible. It's just playing defense here mostly. Oh, what a big headbutt by Green. And now Green, who is eligible. Now the door is open. Making the climb here. Wait, wait. Mickey James! What? Oh, come on now! The personal history between James and Green coming into place! Mickey James is abusing her authority in this matchup. I know there's bad blood here, but come on, you're supposed to be an authority figure. What was that? Are you kidding me? James slides the title to him, who's eligible. Perrazzo's up. The Virtuosa is eligible as well, but Yim dropped the title. 
An absolute abuse of authority by Mickey James has led us to this, but now... Oh, oh God! But now, after that nasty powerbomb under the ladder, Deanna Perrazzo is eligible. Tasha Steele is oh. now doing damage. Sending Perrazzo into the steel, and you can hear that. That smashing up against the steel. That's Jordan Grace trying to get out of the penalty box in the next 20 seconds. Oh my God. Oh, face first into the ladder goes Steels. Steels has been heavy targeted this entire matchup. Heavy wears the crown. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, excuse me. And now Green starting to climb. Perazzo on the other side. Both are eligible. And is the alliance formed at the start of this matchup? And now the penalty box has been open. Jordan Grace is back into Queen of the Mountain. Who's going to win? They reformed the team earlier. Oh but now, either one of these two women can win this oh matchup. My oh, my God. Yeah. Him sends oh. Grace and Perazzo. Oh, my God. Green and Perazzo through the tables. Me and Yim making Green and Perazzo crash and burn. From the mountaintop, go Green and Perazzo. Oh my God. And that leaves Yim, the only eligible wrestler inside the ring right now. Oh, there's a cover. There's a cover by Grace. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Steals as well. What's the ruling? And I suppose it's the official's discretion. Jordan Grace and Tasha Steeles are now both eligible. Oh. Mia Yim will spend two minutes in the penalty box. So it's down to Grace and Steeles. Steeles wanted the black oh. Oh, and now leaps into a neck breaker. That was a double pinfall on Mia Yim. Tasha Steeles jumping in at the last minute to get the cover as well. So now Tasha Steeles is eligible to re grasp her knockouts world championship. Trying to set up the ladder and now grabs her championship. Can Steels hang it high above the ring and retain her title and make history once again here at Slammiversary? Meanwhile, Jordan Grace is the last competitor not eligible in this matchup yet. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my God. Look Grace. At, looking to change. There it is. Buster. Cover. Steels to the penalty box. Tasha Steeles will now spend two minutes in the penalty box. So smart by Grace. That's two competitors in the penalty box. First time in this matchup. Green and Peraza are on the outside through those tables. It is all Jordan Grace. It is all alone. The mountaintop is empty. Up to the top of the ladder. Unhooking the championship. And now it's gonna clip it high above the ring. It's almost there. The final step, and it's done! Jordan Grace is Queen of the Mountain! Grace is the Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of Queen of the Mountain and new Knockouts World Champion, Jordan Grace! Jordan Grace writes history at Slammiversary! What a matchup. History has.